It's a lesson we learn early on. Work hard, earn a decent living, and you'll be able to afford a home. But the lack of affordable housing is turning that age-old concept upside down. And tonight, I-Team investigator Katie Legrone continues her original reporting on this issue with a revealing look at homelessness among the middle class. The pictures of a booming Florida are hard to miss. More people in, more construction up, the economy thriving. My name is Angelia. I'm a senior financial services accountant for the Florida Department of Transportation. Which makes this story. I am what you would consider homeless. Almost impossible to understand. How is an accountant homeless? And, and that's what people wonder because you have to pay to live and so therefore you can't afford to save any money to move. Since last year, Angelia Woods and her four children have called this Tampa hotel home. I spent almost 2,000 a month to live here. Well, that's like all my income. So I don't have any money to save to be able to put down the first month, the last month, the security deposit. After the pandemic forced a previous employer to shut down, she lost her job, was eventually evicted, and ended up hotel hopping. By the time she got her accounting job with the state, Florida's rental market exploded, making her numbers to get into a place of her own unworkable. I tell my kids, you work, you're entitled to things. You take care of yourself, you're entitled to things. You know, so I never thought I would ever be in a situation like this. It, it, it shocks me sometimes. What about assistance? I don't qualify for assistance. You make too much money to qualify for assistance, but then you don't make enough money to be able to save to get somewhere else to live. So I'm in that middle place, that gray area that I had a hard time seeing my whole life. I'm the one that's in that shady area that no one really wants to acknowledge is there. I need a moment. Every two weeks we pack our stuff up and go to the next church. Across the coast in Martin County. It sits down here because the TV's so far away. Before they started church hopping, Owen Russell and his 17-year-old daughter Elizabeth were couch surfing. At times, he says, even sleeping in their car. Terrible. It feels terrible. I'm a single father. I've raised my daughter since she was a year and a half old by myself. I've always been there for her. <sighs> Russell is a full-time transportation provider for non-emergency patients. A good job, he says, but with rental prices up 20 to 30 percent in the area, it's not good enough to land them into a place they can call their own. When they're saying they're building homes for four middle-class families, and, and I go to apply and I say, who's able to afford this? Russell and Woods are among a growing number of middle-class working families in Florida, now becoming first-time homeless families, too. I've called them families that are in the gap. It's families that they make too much to, um, to qualify for government subsidy, but too little to afford the market rent. So I just say these are the, our workforce that are in the gap. Madeline Bazone Greenwood is executive director of Family Promises of Martin County, part of a leading national nonprofit dedicated to helping families who are experiencing homelessness or facing homelessness. Though the feds have poured hundreds of millions of pandemic relief dollars into state and local coffers to help people pay for rent or down payments, Bazone Greenwood says without changing who gets priority and increasing income eligibility requirements, more working families will fall in the gap. We have to help families that are making a higher income. OK, so, the, so these are the families that even though their income's not as low as what the original definition was, they still need the help. For the most part, this is, you know, this is our stuff. Owen and his daughter are now looking at moving across state lines to Georgia. I'm a Floridian boy and I, and there's no place for me here. There's a stereotype like, you're single and you got kids, you must be on welfare, you must be doing this. No, I get up every day and go to my job. Angelia Woods, plans to stay put. I'm an accountant. I'm already working. I'm already productive. July will mark one year in this hotel, an anniversary this mom would like nothing more than to miss. I don't want anybody's sympathy. I don't want anybody to take care of me. I will take care of us. I just want, to, I just want an opportunity to get a place that's decent, that's affordable, that my kids don't have to be afraid to come outside and play. That's all I want. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.